Okay, you got it. You got ID on you? Yeah. No. Yeah. We need ID. We need ID. Why would ID. I have to give you my ID for performing a legal activity? How do we know you're not planning on blowing up the building? Uh, Shooting. Up I mean, the I have no ill will. If that's what you're asking. Can allow the video take the police station. You most certainly can. I don't know if you're about to blow up the building. If you're setting. Well, can you articulate a crime I've committed? Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. Today's story was submitted by Northeast Auditor, a professional videographer and photojournalist that covers sports events. On October 30th, 2018, he was driving home from a job and stopped at the Waterbury Police Department to film the exterior of the building. The department's building occupies an entire city block. All four city streets surrounding the Waterbury Police Department have sidewalks on them. He filmed the structure for a couple of minutes when Defendant Bonoy exited the garage driving a police car. Shortly thereafter, he was approached by the sergeant and defendant Leon, who demanded to know why he was filming and that he identify. What are you, um, what are you taping? Just getting footage. Oh, like just of the building? Or yeah. Any specific reason? Just getting content for a story. What kind of story? It's well, it's not published yet, so I'm not gonna divulge what it is. What's your name and badge number? So, it's Sergeant Frank Leon. Thank you. What's your uh, badge number? 738. Thank you. Okay, you, got a, you got ID on you? Yeah. No. Yeah, we need ID. We need ID. For a First Amendment protected activity? Well, it's actually a security issue. Security issue? Yeah, you're videotaping the police station. I'm, getting con I'm a journalist getting content for a story. Which is fine, so you'd have no problem then giving us Why would ID? I have to give you my ID for performing a legal activity? How do we know it's legal? How do we I'm know on a, I'm on a, I'm on a public not, sidewalk. Like, how do we know you're not planning on blowing up the building? Uh, shooting up I mean, I have no ill will, if that's what you're asking. Okay. I didn't know that. Well, that's, yeah. a, that's the beauty of the Constitution. You don't need to know that, right? Um, I'm filming in a public... Okay, and we're legally asking for your ID. And that, is that, that's a lawful order? That is lawful. Are you order. sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Okay, well, I'm not going to provide my ID. Okay. There's no reason I haven't performed any illegal act. I'm on a public sidewalk, as you can see. Yes, filming the police department. Yeah. It's supposed to be secure. We don't want people coming here. This is a public up. building. Yes. Yes. Yes, that, that in there it's is very public. public. It's, it's a pub public. It's we, a public. We own this building. It's not a public building. You this is not a public building? In, you can't go in and walk around. In the lobby? The in the lobby? Yeah, in the lobby. Yeah. You're allowed in the this lobby. is a public building. I'm filming from an outside on a public space. You can't allow the video take the police station. You most certainly can. No, you not can actually. Uh, you most, I'm a thousand percent sure you can film anywhere outside. Okay. Are you sure about that? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. I am. You sure about that as well? Yep. Uh, okay. At this point of the interaction, I would like to urge you to keep in mind that these two sergeants swore an oath to the Constitution and are in leadership positions. In fact, each officer of the Waterbury Police Department must, by city ordinance, make an oath that in the very first sentence solemnly swears to support the Constitution of the United States. Having been chosen candidates for the Waterbury Police Department and the departments that you represent, please repeat after me. I do solemnly swear, I do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. Like almost every department in the US, the problem is that it is assumed that the officers know anything about the Constitution when swearing in. And in this case, it is evident that you do not need to be proficient in the basics of constitutional law to progress through the ranks. While it is true that many government buildings have areas that are restricted to members of the public, it is also concerning that these officers believe that the building does not belong to the public. It does. And not only is it legal to film the exterior of the building from a public sidewalk, you can also view the building from the air and on Google Maps and it is also 1,000% lawful for the surrounding residents and businesses to have video cameras that capture the building's exterior 24-7. And now, because Northeast Auditor has not performed any illegal activities, he denies their requests to identify. Well, I'm not going to provide my ID. I haven't performed any illegal activity. Can you articulate a crime I've committed or...? Reasonable suspicion. Uh, yeah, of, of what crime? Reasonable, I don't know if you're about to blow up the building, if you're setting... Well, can you articulate a crime I've committed? You're videotaping security areas of the police. That's department. not a crime. Yeah, so I'm gonna need you to let me know what crime I've committed. Reasonable suspicion. You do not have to commit a crime. Okay, am I being detained right now or am I yes. free to go? Yes, yes you're Okay, on what under what suspicion of what crime? Reasonable suspicion. I don't know. Are you sure about here. this? I'm positive. Okay. So this uh, is going to go one of I would I would ask for a supervisor to come out at this point because Okay. Yeah, so well, we're well, provide identification or not. I'm not providing any identification. Right. I've done so nothing. Wrong. Your back, you're being detained. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna hold the camera. Please don't turn it off. Thank you. I have my license on me, so... You like this?
You don't have anything on you with your name on it? Yeah. Anything with your name on it? No, uh, right there is my paycheck, so no, I'm on okay. your mind. The officer ends the recording and takes Northeast Auditor inside the police station, where they charge him with misdemeanor interference. Soon after, he was given conditions of his release and was set free, with a promise that he would appear at all upcoming court dates. They kept all of his belongings except the pay stub found in his pocket. A few months after his arrest, they agreed to return his belongings but kept the SD card from his camera, which was kept from his possession until May 21st, 2021, when the case was dismissed, ending the criminal case in his favor. Overall, Northeast Auditor was arrested and prosecuted for two and a half years for recording a video of a government building that was in plain view for all to see from a busy downtown street. They unlawfully detained him, demanded that he identify himself, and arrested him when he lawfully declined. During the two and a half years that they prosecuted him, he had to attend court at least a dozen times, causing him to miss work and make long distance travels to and from. Finally, in late August of 2021, the ACLU took on his case and filed a lawsuit for violation of the First Amendment, unreasonable seizure in violation of the Fourth Amendment, and malicious prosecution. It is likely that this will end in a settlement, however if it moves to litigation, the case could take years to resolve. I will do my best to keep you up to date on this case in the future, but for the fastest news about this event and for future videos, I highly recommend you visit Northeast Auditor's channel and show him some support. Thanks for watching. If you have a video you'd like me to review, email it or send it in via Facebook Messenger. You can also view this and other content on my website. If you're new here, subscribe for future content. If you've been around for a while, remember to like, share, and comment down below of what you think of this interaction. Shirts and other goodies are available at the Teespring store linked below. Channel memberships start at just a buck if you'd like to further support the channel and get a Slick Lack logo next to your name. I'll see you in the next video. All links are down below.